Okay, in this video, let's talk about the sum of all the past dipole numbers, namely 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot dot dot. This right here, it's a really famous debate because we have two popular ways to answer this. The first answer is that we can just say this right here diverges, and the second way is this right here. It's equal to negative 1 over 12, and perhaps you guys can blame number file for the negative 1 over 12. If I have to answer this question, you know, it will be depending on which class I'm teaching. If I'm just teaching like an algebra or a calculus class, I will just say 1 plus, four, uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot dot dot. This right here, the sum is infinity, therefore this diverges, done deal. However, if you want to do more, just like a typical mathematician, then there will be ways that you can learn that this right here, it's actually equal to negative 1 over 12, if you're willing to learn more. And you guys can check out 3 blue, 1 brown, and then uh, number files video, they have their ways to talk about why the negative 1 over 12. But here, let me show you how we can actually use an integral to make sense of this right here. And we will, let me write down the formula first. We will be using the Ramanuja summation. And what this is, is that this is just a way to assign value to a divergent like this. This right here diverges, therefore you can use this little formula to give a value to it, right? And let me just write down the formula for you guys. First of all, you have to tell me a function f of 0, and then you divide it by 2 for that. And then the next part is you add the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity f of n. And this right here. It's not simply equal. I will put down equal with an r on the top because this is not the regular sum in the usual sense. And uh, it will be thanks to the Ramanuja, right? So I'll be putting down equal with an r on the top. Well, this is really cool because first of all, I will have to use the i. And then, as I told you, we will have the integral. And this right here is an improper integral going from 0 to infinity. And not only we have i, you will see later on, okay? We'll have more things coming up. But let me write down the numerator. We will have f of i t, and then minus f of negative i t, and then divided by, well, if you have i, don't forget to invite e to come out to help us out. Here is the e, right? And we also have a regular number, 2. And of course, when you see e and then the i, how can we not have the pi, right? And here is the pi, and then we have the t, and then we have the minus 1. And then that's it for this integral. So now, I will show you guys how we can use this right here to make sense of negative 1 over 12. To do so, we have to come with a function. Of course, relating this to that, I can just simply pick f of x to be x. So let me just write this down right here. Let f of x equal x. And when you put 0 right here, f of 0 is just 0 over 2. So you have 0 over 2. And then you add, this is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And you see, when f of x is simply just x, f of n, you put n into x, which is just n. So you just get the sum of and when n goes from 1 to infinity, namely, you pretty much have this right here. This is equal to, with an r on the top, right? i times the integral from 0 to infinity. f of it, you just put it into this x, so you just get it, and then minus for f of negative it, we will just have to put in negative it into here. So that's, of course, just negative it, like this. Really nice, huh? And then over this, which is e to the 2 pi t minus 1 dt. And now we just have to take care of this integral. You see, on the top, we have it plus it. So that's 2it like this. And 2i, we can multiply with the i, right? Just a constant multiple. So you see, i times i is negative 1. So I will write down negative 2 all the way in the front. And notice, I didn't put down the r right here because this part is equal to this part in the regular sense. I don't need the little r. Anyway, negative 2 times the integral from 0 to infinity. On the top now, 
I have the t over on the bottom we have e to the 2 pi t minus 1 and I just have to figure out this integral now right well to do so I will just need a little u sub right so I'll just put this down right here and we'll do a few things in your head so I will take u equal 2 pi t in the front we have the negative 2 and then notice this integral is going from t equal to 0 to infinity when t is 0 put it here u will be 0 as well so in the u world u goes from 0 and you put infinity to here 2 pi times infinity is still infinity so u will be going to infinity right here okay t divide both sides by 2 pi so we get u over 2 pi over e to the 2 pi t and that's exactly the u so we have e to the u minus 1 and then for dt you can just you know divide the 2 pi on both sides and differentiate both sides we get du over 2 pi like this and now we can actually cancel things out just the 2 this and that 2 and this 2 maybe <laughs> all right uh, let's see what else can we do this 2 and the pi they are in the denominator so is this pi so we have pi times pi in the denominator we have pi square so altogether we have negative right here and then 1 over 2 pi square okay and then for the rest we have the integral from 0 to infinity everything is in the u world already and on the top I just have the u over here we have e to the u minus 1 and this is with du right here now I'll write this down we have negative 1 over 2 pi square for this integral in fact I have a video on this already this is called the boss not boss boss integral okay so you are going to check that out this it's equal to a famous number pi square over 6 okay I didn't make this up check out the video this is equal to that and from here yes you can see that the pi square cancel each other out precisely and then just do a little multiplication you end up with negative 1 over 12 aha uh -huh. just like that so in another word this right here, thanks to Ramanuja, we end up with negative 1 over 12. So the conclusion based on this is that I will actually write down 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot dot dot. Put R on the top, okay? And then you have the negative 1 over 12. This right here is perhaps the conclusion that you want to say. So if you want to say this is negative 1 over 12, you can say because of Ramanuja. So this right here, once again, it's just a way to assign values to divergent series. Yes, you have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot dot dot. From here, you can actually do a few more things. What will be the value for 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square and so on? That will be 0. How do you do it? Use this. Okay, you can check that out. Just do it on your own or so. And before we end this video, yes, you'll see that if you have even powers here, the sum is actually zero, just like in the three blue, one brown video. Yes, so it's really cool. And in fact, I have a remark to make because in his video, he mentioned the, the remark data function. And here, I also have the data function for you guys. If you look at this integral, in fact, this right here is equal to gamma so it's not just the theta function we also have the gamma function right here it's gamma of 2 times aha here is the theta function theta of 2 right here gamma of 2 is 1 theta of 2 is pi square over 6 and how do we know this be sure you guys check out my other video for that all right and one last thing this right here it's not the first time that we have seen that we assign some value to something that may not make sense in the first place in fact i'll give you guys two more examples that you will be able to relate to this and that the first example is that imagine if you have to calculate square root of negative nine well 
what do you do if you haven't seen imaginary numbers or complex numbers? How would you answer the question? Well, in this case, you would just answer that this right here has no real value because, as we all know, we cannot have negative inside the square root. However, once you learn about complex numbers, you can say this right here is equal to 3i and just the principal value, okay? And some people may argue this is plus minus 3i, up to you, right? So it depends on which class that you are in, which math you have seen, right? And another example I want to give you, in fact, I have a video on this is that the integral from negative 1 to 1, 1 over x dx. For this right here, we also have two ways to answer it. The first way is that we can simply say this improper integral diverges. And you guys can check out my other video for this right here as well. And that's good for Calc 2 students, okay? But once you get into like some upper division level math classes, once you learn about what they call the Cauchy principal value, you can say this right here is equal to zero. And once again, this is the Cauchy principal value. So as you can see, we have done this twice before, and this time we may be able to add this to this. We have two ways to answer the question, depending on which class that you are in, right? So hopefully you guys all like this video, and leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have any questions. And be sure you guys watch my next video, because I'll show you how we can make 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot dot dot, making that equal to negative something else. Anyway, as always, that's it.